So today I want to talk a little bit about my mobile setup. So when I'm trying to get some work done, whether that be coding, writing an article, editing some video, or just trying to get some homework done, I like to have a lot of screen real estate. And that's not really a problem when I'm at home because right next to me I have my docking station for my Lenovo ThinkPad T430. Sorry, just throw this onto the docking station. Um, and uh, it throws everything up on a LG 25 inch ultra wide monitor. And of course I got my my editing rig back here. I have a 4K monitor and a smaller 1080p monitor attached to that and I have plenty of screen real estate back here as well. But what about when I'm on the go? What do I do when I'm jumping in between work, my community college, my university, and home? Now, because sometimes I have a lot of downtime uh, during my commute between all of those and when I have said downtime, I like to try to get some work done. And when I'm trying to get some work done, I prefer to have a lot of screen real estate. And with just my Lenovo T430 alone, I don't really have too much screen real estate to work with. I mean, this screen's fine for just getting some basic stuff done, you know, sending out some emails, writing some code here and there. Uh, but when I'm actually trying to get a lot of stuff done, I like to have at least two monitors or an ultra wide monitor. So I have solved this screen real estate issue by using this. This is the next stock. I have talked a little bit about this uh, in past videos and I actually have a review uh, on this particular Kickstarter. I actually, I think this was uh, the result of a Indiegogo campaign. So if you wanna check out that video, I will put the link to it down in the description. But this is basically just a dummy laptop. There is no uh, processor, no RAM. Uh, the computer part from this has just been completely omitted. It's a screen a keyboard and a trackpad and of course a giant battery and that's about it so if i open this up you will see that it looks just like a cheap little laptop actually a lot of people said that this looked like a uh, macbook and i think that's what they were trying to accomplish i think they want to make this look uh, macbook like but the great thing about this is that it can function as a secondary monitor and it's very light. It's only three pounds and, and it has a built-in battery unlike a lot of other portable monitors on the market right now. So uh, a lot of those USB monitors are actually draining the battery or it's actually siphoning power from the device that you have it hooked up to. So uh, if I hooked up one of those USB monitors to this laptop, it would actually be siphoning uh, power from the laptop and uh, shortening overall battery life. This doesn't have that problem because it has a built-in battery and the only thing you're hooking up to it is a display cable like this. So right here I have a uh, mini display port to HDMI adapter and just your uh, run-the-mill uh, HDMI to mini HDMI cable. So I'm going to show you guys how I uh, uh, hook this up and start my uh, mobile workflow right here. So all I do is I pull both of these bad boys out of my backpack and some of you guys are like, oh, carrying around two laptops, that's gotta suck. That sounds like, you know, it would be crushing your back. Well, not really. I mean, both these laptops are actually pretty light. Once again, I said this one's about three pounds uh, and the ThinkPad, I think, I think it's about five pounds. Um, so overall, not really too much to carry, especially considering that, you know, I'm a commuter student and I have to bring everything with me, my lunch, my water, my coffee. Um, so that's all already in my backpack dragging me down. So adding, you know, an extra uh, three pound uh, laptop and these cables really isn't that big of a deal. And if it really comes down to this, I can just leave this stuff in my car. I filmed this clip already and nothing was working. And then I realized the HDMI cable that I was using was broken. So I had to go in the back and find another one and come up with a sort of convoluted cable solution. Once again, usually when I actually take this stuff uh, to school or a coffee shop or wherever, um, I'll just have a single HDMI to a mini HDMI cable. But unfortunately at the moment, that is MIA. So what I would do is I would of course take both of these out of my backpack. I would turn on my T430 login and then plug in the uh, mini display ports adapter. And of course that's connected to the HDMI cable. And then I would plug the HDMI cable in to the next dock. And it should be automatically detected. There we go. It looks like it was detected. And if I turn this on, you will see that it is now functioning as a secondary monitor. So let me make sure that's in frame. Yup, that is in frame. So if I take something like a uh, LibreOffice document and drag it over to the other screen, 
we now have a dual monitor setup. So I can drag an application over to this screen. I can open up another application on this monitor. And as you can see, setting everything up took under a minute there. It's a really fast setup. I have two monitors now and I'm ready to go. I'm ready to get some work done. And there you go. That's my portable dual monitor setup. Things are a little more pragmatic when I have the uh, three foot HDMI to mini HDMI cable. Um, with this setup, this uh, weird cable setup, I have a couple dongles in between here, uh, which complicates things just a bit. But once again, yeah, with the dongle and uh, HDMI to mini HDMI cable, uh, things are a bit easier to set up. As far as battery life is concerned, the battery life of the next stock is outstanding. It will outlast the battery life of my T430 many times over. So I never really have to worry about uh, charging up my secondary display. I just charge it up whenever I feel like it. And just a quick note, I don't take the next stock with me all the time. I usually only take it when I know that I'm going to have a lot of downtime at uh, my library or at a coffee shop. Um, and usually Usually when I have a lot of downtime, I will know beforehand. So uh, I don't take this with me all the time. Um, I usually only take it when I know that I'm going to have a lot of free time to get some work done. Unfortunately, at the moment, the next stock is not for sale. I believe the company behind the next stock is launching a new Indiegogo campaign very soon. Uh, they have a new revision of the next stock coming up. So if you want to check that out, I will put the link to it down in the description. But you can also accomplish a similar setup by just using one of those portable USB monitors uh, that can be found on Amazon for around 80 to 90 bucks. And I'll put a link to a couple of those down in the description as well if you guys want to check a few of those out. That's going to be about it for this video. I uh, mainly made this for some of the subscribers who were curious about my mobile setup. Here it is right in front of me. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can go ahead and post a comment down in the comments section. Uh, if you didn't like this video, please tell me why. If you did like this video, go ahead. Oh, what did I click on? Go ahead and uh, drop a like on it. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel yet, you should go ahead and do that. If you want to support me, you can use my Amazon or eBay affiliate links, both of which can be found down in the description. And you can also support me via Patreon. Finally, don't forget to drop a like on the Facebook page. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next installment of A Computers and Technology. By the way, yesterday... Oh my gosh, yesterday was a doozy. But yesterday, uh, I filmed a six and a half hour live stream. <laughs> and that was for a Nixie Clock build. It's currently unlisted. I didn't uh, all out publish it. But if you really want to check that out, I don't suggest watching it. But if you really want to see it, I'll put the link to it down in the description. Um, but I will have a uh, fit and polished video uh, on that Nixie tube clock build coming up next week. I think next weekend uh, that should be up. So look forward to that. Once again, thanks for watching guys. And I will see you guys in the next installment of AA Computers and Technology.